I can assure you that everyone hates this stock, but sometimes very hated stocks become big opportunities. The stock that I'm talking about today is Boeing, B-A, ticker symbol. And yes, it is down massively on the year. It's down about 40% or so. It's in a horrible trend. And well, it's not been good in good press at all either. However, I am going to point out a couple of things a seasonality and price action and so forth here on today's episode to build the case for this could be an end of year pick where it does close higher than we where it currently are. Is that going to be the case all the time? Absolutely not. You got to manage risk as you see fit, but let's hop into it. I want to look first and foremost where we currently stand. What you're seeing here is just a wedge pattern. Price action is getting a little, you know, whipsaw back and forth, but it is supposedly getting a little bit tighter as we're moving into earnings. We do have a subtle positive divergence here from this low up into here. This is a low. This is a lower low. And like I said, we're in just a horrible trend. Now, what I find interesting about this is if you go back to last October, which is right over here, you actually had similar price action. Boeing sold off. We started wedging pretty significantly right here. And that happened to be right in mid-October. And then, boom, out of nowhere, even in a bad trend, we rallied into the year end. You can go back years prior. Boom. What do we see over here? Well, it was about into mid-October. We started to find this bottom, and we started to rally into year's end. We can continue on, and you'll see one year over here. Eh, that wasn't quite the case. We saw a rally. It faded. It came back up a little bit. More of a chop suey type of environment. Then you go back one more year right prior to the pandemic. You can see that here into late October to almost the end of the year, December, we did get a nice rally there too. So just a seasonality perspective, we do see some strength in these airline stocks. So if I actually go into the Boeing seasonality, typically October is kind of choppy, but back, back months, November and December, typically get some sort of a rally, which we've seen a lot of stocks do go through that. Uh, and then if I go to the airline industry seasonality, it's actually towards the mid-October to slightly before where we do get a substantial rally in various airline stocks. And I find this to be important because one of the biggest expensive expenses for airlines is, well, oil, right? That's, it's a big expense for airlines. And if you go to the chart of crude oil, crude oil broke down. And, you know, we saw a little bit of a bounce up on the news around Iran and Israel. And we're coming off a little bit here slightly. However, remember, we're also in an election year. And, you know, we have one of the incumbents, Donald Trump, is stating that you know, drill, baby, drill. If he's elected into office, his number one goal is, or one of the one of them is to, you know, make the prices. Pretty much both of the both of them that are running want to make prices lower across the board, and a big focus is the energy aspect of it. So this, I mean, if if he is elected president, perhaps, and starts right out of the gate, this that could be actually a good sign, I think, for a potential oil oil related stocks like transportations, because if their costs or knowingly going down, is the market going to respond and try to discount it before it technically happens? That's a possibility. So more a more of a narrative than anything. But we have seasonality, the potential for the election, uh, and we then we have price action too as well, starting to you know wedge out, get pretty tight here. I think this makes for a good uh, a good case for a rally into airline stocks into the end of the year. But you, like always, got to manage your risk. You can go into something like the five-day, sorry, the 15-minute time frame or, you know, an intraday time frame and wait to see this positive trend start to develop. And then you can have stops at, you know, this prior swing low or you can update it as time progresses forward. However you personally see fit, what I would not recommend doing is YOLOing into any position, including a position that's in a horrible trend. You need to manage risk, focus it from a risk perspective first because that's the only thing we can control we can't control how high or low a stock goes hope that helps out gives you some insight see you later